Uncomfortable female reporter fails. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Pew. Hey, Winslet and Leonardo DiCaprio. Leonardo DiCaprio! I bet that's what his, uh, his haters call him. People that don't like Leo. He's a very talented actor. He truly is. But people that don't like him, he's like Leonardo DiCaprio. Honestly, young Leo? Oh! Woo! Also, there's like a thing where Leo only dates like women in their 20s. <laughs> that's like a straight up thing. So Leo, if you're seeing this, Ignore the shirt. I'm not disclosed dead. Hit me up. Just kidding. Scary moments for customers at a Kansas Home Depot. Oh. Police responded to reports of a bomb threat at the store in Wichita. A customer alerted employees. A man nice. inside the bathroom said there was a bomb in the building. Police were able to locate the man responsible for those comments, and that man told police he warned other guests to leave the restroom because he was, quote, uh, fixing to blow it up, but had no intention of causing a panic. Man also told police others in the room laughed, understanding his joke, which I'm just now getting. <laughs> Home Depot says they will not be pressing charges. But I can tell you right now, you asked the producer for me to read that, didn't you? <laughs> Literally, why would you even cover this on a news story? Like she was doing it so serious and she's like he warned other guests to leave the restroom because he was quote uh fixing to blow it up but oh we're talking about shit aren't we he was he took some x lax or something and was just gonna that's so funny that people are like oh my god he's gonna blow he's like no i'm just gonna drop a deuce isn't that what people call it <laughs> i don't know uh i hope he's okay like did he have too much taco bell I don't, even like, I don't even like Taco Bell. I don't know. Anyway, that's disgusting. Disgusting! Hey everyone, what's up? And welcome back to the Peachiest Channel on the internet. I'm your host, Peach. If you don't know me, hi, I'm Peach. Uh, and today, we are looking at some uncomfortable news reporter fails, and this is part two. So if you haven't seen part one, uh, go ahead, check that out. Not now, after this one. And obviously, smash that like button and comment something down below, like what video do you wanna see from me next? And now, we'll continue on with the video. Also, I almost forgot, subscribe to Peach Be a Peach. Yeah, now we'll continue on with the video. Also, did you guys realize that I decorated for Halloween? Here's some other great town names. Lititz. Oh, it's Lititz. Lititz. <laughs> <laughs> At least she didn't say Lil Tits. <laughs> nice, nice. Here's some great town names. Le Tits. <laughs> it's, uh, it's French, you know? Le Tits, Le Titties. Uh, I heard that that town is very perky. No more questions. Worth the risk to just wash the, the underwear and, and run the risk of it getting damaged. Yeah, or because, just buy new underwear. Right, because how do you ruin your underwear? I mean, what's gonna happen? Well, there's ways to ruin it. You, well, <laughs> Let's move on. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> we can't move on from that. Why were they talking about underwear in the first place? Like, what was this news segment? That's what I want to know. Was it like top 10 ways to soil your panties? Sorry. Like, you know, disgusting. I'm so glad that I wore this shirt today. I'm using it so much. I don't even know, but as soon as she said it, how do you even ruin your underwear? I was like, girl, girl, really? You're playing innocent? Come on, come on. How do you ruin your underwear? I mean, what's gonna happen? Well, there's ways to ruin it. You, well, <laughs> DD Mega Doo Doo. I'm sorry, Mangudu. First off, where do you even see DD? Where do you see DD? That's Deirdre. No, maybe it's not. Deirdre. Dieter. Oh, uh, now I'm confused. Isn't that how you spell Deirdre? I don't know how to spell Deirdre. Now I'm tripping out, but that's definitely not Mega Doo Doo. Uh, Menjadot. Now I'm butchering her name. So I'm gonna give it to her. It is a very difficult name to pronounce, but really, DD Mega Doo Doo? Doo Doo. A sticky situation at an airport in Tennessee after baggage was sprayed with raw sewage. Sprayed? I know. Well, Soil is one of those words. There's yeah. just no way to say it. It just no. yeah, sounds like a yeah. chunky moisture. Oh, <laughs> it's just it's the two. Ah. It's the two words. Yeah, you hate. Yeah. yeah. Corn. No. How'd that get on my bag? <laughs> okay, too far. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Here's the deal. Here's the deal. Just wait, wait, wait. This just it. We're on TV. We're on TV. <laughs> There are people watching. We're not in a private area. 
Yeah, she's like, I'm not trying to get fired, so I'm not gonna laugh here, but there's people watching, guys. You can't be making these jokes right now. Like, we have like a thousand people, even more, watching our channel right now, so we can't be making these jokes. That's really uncomfortable for her, but also... Chunky moisture. Oh! <laughs> like, what? They took it way too far. Chunky moisture? Ugh! That's gross. Also, the airline, can you imagine, like, you're going to pick up your bag and you're like, what's that smell? And, oh, I don't even want to think about it. Oh. Because, you know, airplane bathrooms are really sketchy. Like, it literally, like, sucks the feces down. It was just sucking it down and spraying it on the, oh, we're moving on to the next one. I can't. This is why I don't like airplanes, folks. One of the many reasons. Chunky moisture. Oh. <laughs> $64, a professional instructor will take you for a three-hour heart-pounding lap ride. Uh, 190. <laughs> a three lap ride. Three lap ride, thank you. Not a lap ride. <laughs> $499. Sorry about that. <laughs> you can leave them on the seat. She's like, there's no way that I'm going to finish this. You guys just do it. She even like pointed to the other guy and he, she was like, come on, you do it. As soon as I read it and I saw this at three laps, I knew she was gonna say something like lap dance. Yeah, honey, nice try. 64, $64, only three laps around the track? First of all, that's a scam because you're going in a, dude, is a NASCAR driver doing it? Or maybe you're doing it yourself. Cause I was gonna say, if you're in with a NASCAR driver, three laps is gonna take, it's gonna go like that. And you're like, oh, it was already three laps already? Cause they drive so fast. But if you're doing it yourself, I could see you'd be a bit slower, you bump into other things. I don't know. But 199 for three hours? Like, that's just too much then. Imagine going around and around for three hours. I throw up. So it's like either you're paying a lot and you're done very quick, or you're paying a lot and you're stuck there for three hours, wishing you didn't choose that option. Anyway, that's not even what this video was about, but I thought I would talk about it. Just wait a week to get my hands on the latest DVD releases. So I got knocked up last night. Well, not literally, but I got the movie the knocked movie. up. Yes, the movie knocked up. Terrific, you gotta watch it, Bob. Knocked up, I'll, I'll put that on. He kept it together, she kept it together. I got knocked up last night. I died the movie, I the movie, I am, I'm fine. We're all good, we're all good. Can we cut this? Oh, it's live, oh shit, okay. <laughs> it's awkward, it is. Also, oh, remember when DVDs were a thing and you'd like go to Blockbuster on like a Friday night, you'd pick out like two movies, you wouldn't pick out the expensive snacks because they were really expensive, but then you'd go home and you'd play the movies. Do you remember when there was VHSs you could borrow too and it was like, be kind and rewind? The good old days. It's the good old days, man. Night. The sun was going down and you have that gradation, you know. Uh, it's just so beautiful going from the dark all the way to the orange. It's like, oh, so nice. I think we have that right now too. Yeah. The opposite. No, I agree. And being over 50 helps too. Oh, oh, the tickets first. <laughs> Gets better when you're 62, right? Getting you're better, 65, kind of warm you know? in here, too. Jeez, oh. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Let's pull up the map, please. <laughs> Going up to the roof where I'm wanted. The silence in the room when he said it's better when you're 50. Being over 50 helps too. Oh, oh, the tickets <laughs> first. <laughs> the silence before they realized what he meant. Everyone was just like, did you really just comment on her age right now? That's, uh, wow, okay there, bud. And then when they realized that they were talking about the temperature, whoo, I felt uncomfortable. I was like, there's no way he just said that. There's no way, but it's okay okay because he didn't mean what we all thought he meant maybe he did and then he's like the temperature not your age sherry i don't even know if that's her name and in our number one spot today let's see what we got today you know those guys yeah, are yeah, those, hey, let those. me let me get right it. i got it. it it's a 2.99 burger i'll buy lunch but... okay well i don't mean to interrupt yeah. but there's, can i try one of these courtney i would love to see my meat in your mouth so i've got a burger ready to go so for you first time I've heard that. she went with it 
first of all, that guy knew that there was gonna be an interview today, and he's like, I know what she's gonna ask, and I have a perfect line ready. It gets the ladies, you know, twitching, ready. They just want pounce. I love to have my meat in your mouth. <laughs> if that was me, I would have been like, ew, never mind. We're done here, guys. We're done. I'm going home. I'm showering. But she's like, <laughs> that's what she said. It's not the first time. Not the you. first time ever. No. I mean, props to her for going with it, but uh, wow. All right, guys, that's all for today's video. Let me know in the comments below which one of these fails made you laugh or made you uncomfortable. Honestly, this one and the whole comment about her age weather thing, that made me uncomfortable like I felt it in my stomach but let me know what you think in the comments below also let me know if you maybe want to see a part three with that being said why don't you smash that like button obviously subscribe to peach be a peach I've been your host Lindsay Ivan aka peach stick around for some bloopers and I'll see you when I see ya stay peachy I feel like I need to boost myself up that's better hey everyone what's what I need to know the video title <laughs> We're just, I'm a mess. Let's hope the microphone is fine. Nice.